this is Meredith from vidpromom.com and over the last few weeks I've had a chance to play with Cyberlink Power Director for some video editing. One of my goals this year is to create video tutorials on all or most of the video editing software that I know you guys are using. I've covered Premiere Elements, Premiere Pro, Filmora, GoPro Studio, but I haven't done anything with Power Director yet. So I partnered with Cyberlink and they provided me with the software so that I can do a review for you guys. And I'll be honest, I am a Mac girl. So using a PC for editing video offers a little bit of a challenge, but I like challenges. And I like PowerDirector too. There actually wasn't anything that I didn't like about it. It's very professional and easy to use, and it's really packed with features. So I actually edited a video for my kids' YouTube channel, which is called Kid Sisters TV, and I did it completely on the PC with PowerDirector. I use a lot of different video editors, as you guys know, because I'm creating tutorials and I'm answering questions. So because I use so many, it's actually pretty daunting to open up a a new one completely and start using it from scratch. But I found that Power Director works pretty much as I would expect. You drop your media in, you drag them to your timeline, you view your video up here in the preview area, and you have several different tracks available to you, which is great. So one of the biggest hurdles for me with Power Director was keyboard shortcuts. Part of that is because I'm a Mac girl using a PC, but Every video editor is different when it comes to their shortcuts, and I love to use keyboard shortcuts when I'm editing because it really makes things um, go a lot quicker for me, and sometimes video editing can take a while, so anything I can do to kind of speed things up, I'm gonna try to do. So the first thing I did was I googled what the keyboard shortcuts are for PowerDirector. So if you wanna cut a clip, like split a clip in half, it's Control T, and then to delete, you actually have to hit delete on your keyboard, which is not the same thing as backspace. It's actually a tiny button above the backspace button. And then it asks you how you want to delete what you just cut out. So I quickly learned that I wanted to hit control delete so that it stopped asking me and it would just automatically do a ripple delete. So you cut the clip out and it removes it and it shifts all the other clips. Um, back together for you. So other than learning those keyboard shortcuts, it was pretty intuitive to use right out of the box if you're familiar with you know, pretty much any video editor out there. And it has a super fast rendering option, which I'm not sure what the difference is, but I tried that with the video that I uploaded to my kid's YouTube channel, and it seemed to work fine, so that's pretty awesome. So PowerDirector is available for PC only, so if you're on a PC and you're looking for a new video editor to try, then um, give PowerDirector a shot. Try it out. I always recommend that people actually try video editing software before they fully commit to it. Don't just go on my own recommendations or other people's recommendations. Try it out for yourself. And if you want to see the final video that I created with PowerDirector, you can head over to my kids' YouTube channel, which is called Kid Sisters TV. I'll link it below. And look for the video called Fizzy Soda Candy. So that's it. If you found this video to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more PowerDirector tutorials from me. Don't forget to subscribe so you can hear from me again in the future. Bye.